Hi, welcome back. Let me just finish this glass, one sec. Right. On today's episode, we are gonna talk about things you should never do to your Erdinger glass. Now, why is it so important to handle your Erdinger glass with care? And that's because you never wanna compromise on the foam, the flavor, and you wanna make sure you're keeping your hygiene standards to the best they can be. So what are things you should never do to your Erdinger glass? And unfortunately, that's using a dishwasher. Now, unless you're behind a bar and you have a proper dishwasher, which is designated to clean glasses, the ones at home aren't that great because they use dishwashing detergent. What you want to do with the Erdinger glass, you want to use a nice glass washing detergent and rinse it with cold water. Or, if you're as lucky as me and you have a fine specimen of German engineering, you have this special brush. God, I love this. So, let's do a little test. Now this glass was cleaned with conventional dishwashing detergent. This glass was cleaned the right way. Now as you can see, the glass that was cleaned the right way holds the foam a lot longer. So another thing you should never do to your Erdinger glass is clean the inside with a towel. And that's because fibers from the towel can get stuck inside. The correct way to do it is to rinse it with cold water, drain it upside down, let it dry, and that should help with a good pour. Okay, so final thing I want to tell you. So, if you're serving multiple guests and you have to carry multiple glasses, never carry them like a dinosaur claw. Don't put your finger in that glass. The correct way to carry them, punch them up, should be good. So, if you follow all these rules, you should end up with a nice Erdinger. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And never forget the most important rule. Never skim an Erdinger. Just don't do it. Mm. Right, before I forget, if you enjoyed today's video, like, comment, subscribe, and turn those notifications on. Cheers.